Well, look what we bring for you. The trophy. Well, it was Sakia Grand Prix, so let's call it the Bahrain Grand Prix, similar. But no, great memories, obviously. First podium in Formula One. Awesome moment with everybody. Bahrain is pretty special for me. I, I always uh, had good results and I always uh, enjoyed driving there. So, uh, yeah, a special track and one that I will uh, always remember. The race started pretty smoothly. We had the advantage of being able to do a one-stop strategy, which played in our favour against all the guys starting on soft tyres in front of us. We had a great pit stop um, that allowed us to, to battle with, with Stroll and then a little bit of luck at the end with the safety car. And yeah, it just all played into our favour. Not looking forward at all. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be great. Obviously, we've worked together with Josh last year, uh, also the testing of 2019. I think it'll be a pretty yeah, natural change. And we worked uh, in Manor together as well in 2016, so it's, uh, it's a long story with Josh. I think uh, it will sort of all fall into place very, very quickly. Yeah, yeah I'm really excited to, uh, to see what we can do together. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it a lot. I love the combination of, uh, of the second sector, really. I think there are some very technical corners through there. It's quite hard on the tyres as well, so you really need to use it on, on the first lap. There's no question about whether uh, it will become later or not. Uh, so it's straightforward, you know what you are expecting from the car. And it's, it's quite changing also the, the conditions, because we drive in the heat, then we drive on the, on the night where it's cooler. So you are never having the same car really all, all the weekend. And, and that's pretty interesting, I think. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I enjoy it. Every session is, is different. Um, you've got different weather, you've got different track temperatures, air temperatures, the wind changes quite a lot as well. Uh, it's a circuit that's very hard on brakes. And then it's kind of middle of the road and a nice balance between how much downforce you have and the car's top speed. So there are two things that you need to try and finesse through P1 uh, and into P2. P2 is a very important session because it's the one that's most like qualifying. Sector two, very technical. Uh, there's a lot of things that can either make or break a lap through there. Definitely uh, turn four last year where I had the, the fight with Lance. Uh, to get uh, that, uh, that podium spot. If you get close to, uh, to the car after turn one, you can have a chance uh, in turn four. But the easiest place normally to overtake is turn one. But yeah, somebody can get you back on the straight after. So if you do it in turn four, at least you're clear. Yeah, we do. Normally in, in little chats that we have on, on the Sunday morning before the race, anything that we can speak about for, for racing is, uh, is good to do it together. There's only some bits that we do need to talk about before, from the engine side particularly. Yeah. You have to have a rough idea on Friday exactly. of, of where we're going to be able to need to overtake or yeah, defend yeah, equally. Yeah, that's very so important. It's mainly down to you deciding where you think you've got the best opportunity. And then you guys giving me the tools. Exactly. That's the hope. Power. Exactly. <laughs> That's the hope. <laughs>